Welcome to And Now for Something Different. I am Nathan Kennedy, and I'm joined here tonight by Rebecca McDonald, a.k.a. Newt, the trash man, Ren McKenzie, and the doctors here, Jusin Mitrovich. Uh, I was talking before the show. I think this is the first time ever in the history of our channel, this podcast, live streams, what have you, that uh, neither Tyler or Joe are present. Uh, Joe is watching WrestleMania Night Two. At uh, the Night Two, can't talk tonight. <laughs> and Tyler uh, got the flu. He he was feeling fine on his birthday on Friday, and then woke up yesterday, and he's like, "Dude, I'm sick." And I'm like, "I hope you feel better. Let me know how you're feeling today." And he's like, "A little bit better today, but still feeling kind of crummy." So he's just gonna rest up. So it's just uh, it's just the four of us tonight doing this watch party for Black Star. I got it right, Deuce, in this time yeah. of uh, Tree of Evil. I kept wanting to say Brave Star for whatever All the cool reason. Kids are here. Same, yeah, yeah. Um, hey, without Joe here, we got a decent intro. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. true. <laughs> that's true. I, I only going on. only started to flub up after the fact, so uh, we we got that uh, going on for us. But Rebecca, you you, you started a new collection. What, what, I did. What, I'll show Tyler when he's here. Yeah, look at that. Some Bionic oh, 6. Cool. Started on some Bionic 6. I got these at Toylanta. Had to get her because I was in the costume. He gave me a deal on her. So. Lisa Simpson. <laughs> Lisa Simpson, yeah. Yeah, uh, so I, uh, th it's an awesome line to collect, but uh, one of the difficult things about it is, especially if you're not going to these toy shows or checking out vendors that are at other conventions is if you're just looking on eBay, it's because I went many months trying to complete the set, but the hardest part was just finding them in just pristine condition because they, they are they're, they're metal and the, the paint yeah. on those chip away over time. So I never to... realized her, her legs are like your uh, see-through. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. You get that a lot with, um, uh, pretty much everybody uh, they got a little bit of the translucent uh, plastic going on and as you kind of saw there too that that's one of the other things very similar to gi joe but i don't think there's really a fix for the like their legs get a little loose on yeah some i'm of them so well. scared to bend them i'm like i'm not bending yeah. any of the joints i'm just like nope i'm not touching it i don't want to break it because that's yeah. a pain in the ass to fix so best of luck up some like little junk that kind of remind me of joe. <laughs> little junk there <laughs> So what what was what no, is, what is this oh, it's is stapler. A, this is a skeletor stapler. Oh hell yeah. All right. It doesn't have any staples in it and it looks like it's really small, so I gotta get like specialty staples. Yeah. And this is an eraser. Oh wow. Wait, no, that's a, I that's used pencil it. It's sharpener. Really that's, sharp. a, 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 that's a pencil, pencel sharpener. sharpener, sorry. Pencil sharpener. Eraser. <laughs> My bad. He had the erasers, I didn't get them though. And then I got this little guy. Oh. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I got this lady. I got a bunch of stuff, but uh, I picked her up. I didn't know uh, who she was. I just thought she was hot, so I was like, "Oh, I'll take her." <laughs> I, I honestly, which blade? It's which blade? That's who I you? thought it was, and I yeah, was like, "She reminds blade. me of which blade?" But she's Fathom, so she's like from the same universe as which blade. Yeah, I thought okay. she was super pretty, so I picked her. I'm up. Very limited, figure, very limited articulations. Probably. I thought you would appreciate that, Ren. 
Oh yeah, yeah, right. very nice. Yeah, yeah, he appreciates the titties and exactly. no articulation. Exactly. That's the five points. Um, you can't really see it, but on top of uh, the attorney box there, I did uh, and get in the mail the latest wave of uh, silver hawks from Super Seven. So I need Ooh, to nice. unbox yeah, those and get those on the shelf. I yeah, I did get a rock them. on. Uh, I ended up getting a, a rock on figure, and I haven't opened it yet either. Hell yeah! I got that yesterday. Nice. So that's pretty cool. So now awesome. I'm just waiting on uh, the um, what you, the the crane one. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'll probably never see it. Joe swears it's going to be in the Walmart stores, but we'll see. Uh, I, I'll keep an eye out too. If if, uh, but when it comes to the the turtles of Grayskull line, I've only seen them at Target around here. I yeah, seen yeah, they were pop up at Walmart. Yeah, they were Target exclusives, but that one. That one is Walmart exclusive. Was a Walmart exclusive. Yeah, yeah so it's, yeah. it's fucking dumb. I'll, I'll keep an eye out though because the, um, some of the like the Moss Man that I, I want to say is Walmart exclusive. I've seen yeah. that at one, and then uh, a couple other Walmart exclusives and other toy lines I've seen. So I'll, I'll keep checking that one. If I if I find it before anyone else does, I'll, I'll message you immediately and just be like, hey, "Sounds good. I got this." But, uh, I appreciate you. Yeah, keep an eye out for that uh, Andre the Giant. I want another one of those too. But, uh, I'll definitely do that. Um, Sounds good. So the coolest thing about this is every now and again, oh, yeah, Joe's in the chat. Uh, oh no, not him. <laughs> Joe. Um, so I, I have, I have this. I, I'm what I have WrestleMania night two up up on my second monitor. So periodically, I, I just witnessed it, Joe. But I, I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah, sitting Joe. Here. I'm currently doing a show, Joe. It's uh, called technology, Joe. Yeah, uh, I even sent him. A, I even sent him a picture of it. I'm like, "Hey, this is my setup for what, what I got going on tonight." So I can just kind of glance over and be like, "What's going on?" Oh, yeah, all right. And while we're yeah. Joe's at home, like, I can't get my laptop. It's upstairs. It's cold <laughs> downstairs. Well, I, don't know, well, I couldn't get it, but it's it's like down in the basement area. Like, Go get your fucking laptop, Joe. <laughs> Meanwhile, the funniest aspect of that is at the beginning. Like, oh, I don't. I don't have my laptop. It's in another room. But then, as the show goes on. If there's something <laughs> that we mentioned that he has, like an action fit or like a fucking knockoff Masters of the Universe universe kite, he'll run like, to go get oh, it. Oh yeah, yeah, let me go get that. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, sure. Do you have <laughs> these, Joe? Yeah, do you he have those, Joe? Does. I bet yeah. he does. He's got all the cool little stuff. I don't think those came in that bundle he bought from the auction. Oh yeah, the the party pooper thing. Yeah. Anyone? This is uh, like school supply stuff. Uh, he probably does, uh, but Joe says Joe says here that uh, his internet is faster than mine. So <laughs> he's saying this because uh, last night for WrestleMania Night One, we actually video chatted on Messenger oh, nice. and watched the show together, and his feed on Peacock was like five to ten seconds ahead of mine for whatever reason. Mm. Uh, oh, so wow. he he was sitting there essentially spoiling the the endings of the match. <laughs> As they were happening, he would make like oh. a face, and I'm just like, "All right, cool." So I, I tried to <laughs> pay attention to him at certain points, but uh, it, it was it was a good time. It was it was a lot of fun. Um, shit, I'm trying to think if there's anything <laughs> else. I mean, <laughs> uh, no, I mean, bro, it's Joe. Join the join the stream. <laughs> yeah, yeah show here. yeah show your face like a real man, Joe. Yeah, Joe. Yeah, that see to me that automatically makes him not as 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 good as me because I'm I'm willing to show my face on a weekly basis. Can Joe say the same? No, because he's scared. Because um, he looks like Muck Man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, oh, Alex, hi, Alec. I've not seen him in here before. Doctor Alec Court. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess before we start to 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 move on, two things. The description down below. Uh, tonight, if you're here live, and maybe if you're watching a day or two after the fact, there is that top link that is called uh, The One with the Scary Tree. This is the upscaled version <laughs> of Tree of Evil that we're going to be watching tonight. However, that is a limited window. That probably won't be there forever, so you'll have to click on the second link if you're watching this months, months down the road. What is what, what is, what is <laughs> that, Matt? It's, sorry, it's my ring camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh okay. Close I was like, door. you got effects, you got sound effects. Like, what the fuck, you're trying to outshine all of us. I thought it was like, <laughs> open that, the door. Do it. That, open yeah. the door. Uh, <laughs> that that sounded like 
Well, we were transported to an episode of uh, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. That sounded like the little ding of like the the, the trolley oh, yeah. or whatever taking oh, yeah, you to the yeah. land of make believe. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Joe's on the trolley. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna come out and just kind of stand there and talk. Yeah. <laughs> so who's at the door, Ren? I, I don't know, man. I'm in here with you. Oh, okay. Well, I, I thought you can <laughs> you can see that on your phone if you get a notification from Ring, right? You can just open. I the... can, but I have to I have to press it, and mm-hmm. and of course, being being a good member of the fans of power, I've got this video ready. And yet somehow, you're still going to be like, "What's the timestamp on this?" Oh, I'm, I'm, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I'm yeah. far behind, or I'm too far ahead now. Probably. Probably. My internet's slower than yours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll just uh, we'll start to set up the, the show's hierarchy based off of internet speed. So I guess now Joe's at the top and I'm I'm number two. And then it's prob- I doubt it. And then it's probably uh, one of you two because I know Tyler's internet isn't that good. So he would probably be towards the bottom. Uh, Deuce, I'm sorry. I don't I don't know how good your, your internet is. It's like... 50 megabytes per second, I think. All right, well, you stopped yeah, well, counting. All right, well, you're probably ahead of Tyler and Joe. So you're going to be about in the middle of the pack, I would imagine. He's the middle child. Yeah, you're the middle child. Oh, man. Even though he's younger than all of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, I got a question really quick. How yeah. old have I told you guys I was? 67? Uh, <laughs> no, uh, I don't. Uh, did, Are you have 49? You, have you said? Maybe you did say it. I've just forgotten. I can't. Okay. I, I legit can't remember. I was actually going to say, uh, speaking of when I was talking earlier about Tyler's birthday being on Friday, he turned oh. he turned forty, and, and yet, when you think of forty, you're like, damn, you know, that's pretty old, but not as old as <laughs> as Ren or Joe. So. God damn. Well, I, how old yeah. are you? Forty. It, so it, it is forty eight. Right? So evidently, I'm forty eight. Uh, I've been telling everyone that I was 47. So for, for however long, I've, I've taken a year away from myself. <laughs> and yesterday, um, I was, I was talking to a couple of my buddies and, um, and they corrected me harshly. And, and brought me to the reality that I'm 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 quite a, a few months away from 49 years old, and I'm like, what? Huh. Like that's not right. So I start counting on the fingers, and you know, okay, okay, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm like a year and a half away from 50 years old, man. It's some bullshit. <laughs> yeah, it's, time yeah. is I, I, super fast. I immediately started having joint pain. And just like that the my back went the out. Idea, right? just, just the thought of a year jump. My my back went out and and I fell down and and I couldn't get up and it was it was crazy man. Well, I, crazy. I I hope that you have the uh, is it the what was that shit? It's like help! Uh, I, I've fallen and I can't get up. It was, oh, the, uh, the, <laughs> the the button thing. What, yeah, what is I, it? I don't have that. I, now I got to look it up. Uh, yeah, I've fallen. Oh, I, I don't remember. Oh I just yeah, remember the line. Yeah, yeah it's it something alert, right? Yeah, the, yeah, the life alert. Yeah, yeah, life alert. Life alert. Yeah. Well, I think it I has. Do they there... break into the home with an axe? <laughs> like the firefighters? I mean, they might have to if, like, the door's locked. I'll see them on the ring. <laughs> they just don't come in yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ren's laying there in his underwear. Don't come in. Oh, man. Yeah, I, it's kind of weird to think about. Yeah, you're, you're doing that with 50. I'm kind of doing that with 40 because I will also be 40 in a, in a few months. So I'm just yeah. like, damn, it doesn't it doesn't feel like it. As Deucin said, time's just kind of moving. It does. Too like fast. it's already so, middle of April almost. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. true. It it goes by quick. But uh, also speaking of going by quick, let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and we'll get this watch party going. So if you have it in the chat already, go ahead and, and get that loaded up. Actually, while we're here, I'll go ahead and say to hello that to everyone that has joined us live, but also a little bit earlier than usual and a little bit lighter on the show this week. Uh, we have Will Timpson, Zentron, JSP, Fedmon, Simple Tricks and Nonsense, John Ballard, 
Uh, J- D- did I say JSP? Uh, uh, JSP is here. Did you hear that, Joe? JSP is here. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Carter. I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. Johnny Cock. Uh, we have uh, Dr. Alec Court, who is new. Hello and welcome. Uh, Jaime Mares, happy birthday to you, uh, Mr. Jaime. Today is his birthday as well. A lot well, of, happy birthday. A lot of birthdays happy going birthday. on. Happy uh, birthday. Master's Keep, and I think that's everyone that we have here for now. If I missed anyone, I apologize, JSP, confirming, Joe. You're here in the <laughs> chat. You'll see for yourself, JSP is indeed here. Um, JSP, be sure to tag Joe in your comment. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just spam the shit out of it too. That would, yeah. that would be that would be fantastic. Um, <laughs> so I guess a couple things before we hit play and we start going into this. Uh, for me personally, I may have watched the first episode of Black Star, but I I, I don't think I have. So I think this was my first. First viewing of this show, only 13 episodes were produced. And Deuce, if I'm correct, this is episode nine out of 13. Yep. Okay. Um, I didn't know there were so few. Yeah, yeah, I could they, that in a fucking day. I need to watch it. Yeah, it was uh, made uh, for a network. It wasn't syndicated. Mm. Oh. And uh, the reason it only had 13 episodes is because of information got to do on Masters of the Universe. So yeah. they, need, they needed all hands on that show. Because that show was going for syndication, which meant 65 episode season. And uh, probably more money overall, because synd- syndication seems to bring in a shitload of money. Uh, Ren, when it comes to this, you were pretty you've you've been excited to talk about this for a couple weeks now. What is what is your experience with this property? I absolutely love John Blackstar. Like that show was was amazing to me when I was younger. And uh, I don't remember, like, running home and seeing it. I, I just remember watching it whenever it came on. Mm-hmm. Um, and and I didn't know until a few years back that it, it had so few episodes. So they were probably just sporadic and they yeah. would just rerun and, you know, all that stuff. Yeah. But I love that show, man. Like, because it was it was basically the same in in my mind as, as animation as he man it was like okay they were they were brother companies and animation was so similar i was like okay they they're in the same world and then come to find out there's so many things that the animators and deuce and i'll probably talk about this that they reused yeah um I, in, I, in from this show to the other one yeah i was kind of getting vibes of that as well when i was watching this I was like oh okay yeah you yeah I, I was in my head i'm thinking it's like this is proto he man to me yeah. um yeah. and rebecca would have more ways than one <laughs> yeah. which which we'll get into more right? ways than two yeah. yeah rebecca what about you when it comes to i'm Black like Star? you i i've always meant to pick it up and watch it but yeah. like i never gotten around to it so i think i've only seen one or two episodes of it okay. well all 13 mm-hmm. there it is looks a fucking pl- awesome so i need to watch all 13 since like I said, yeah. I could do that in a day. I could watch yeah. all that. So well, there yeah. is a playlist on YouTube somewhere that that has all thirteen. Um, so you can just look that up and uh, yeah, I'll probably just uh, to- just keep in mind that uh, at this point, the filmation was swamped with work. That's why Blackstar is a bit uh, on the shorter end of the stick with uh, the quality of animation. Yeah, like yeah. Uh, it's more, it's rougher than usual. Yeah. Well, let's and, uh, and it, it's a lot of reuse. Uh, scenes, yeah, in them too, yeah, well, but it, I, it's still good. The stories are decent. You, you guys want to? I since Tyler's not here, who wants to take up the mantle of giving us the countdown to play? Ah, shit, let me do it. All right, Ren, let's <laughs> do it. I'm always late, yeah, yeah, there we go. There, there we go. You set the tone for this. All right, three, two, one, go. That was so much better when. Than Ty- when Tyler does it. <laughs> See that uh, effect. <laughs> See these effects. That's these awesome. aren't cheap at what? all. Like they require multiple film passes, each costing money. One what? screw up means you have to do it all over again. Well, that, oh, especially wow. that little explosion bit there at the yeah. beginning. Yeah. yeah, which is a live action element. Yeah. Also, it like, live so originally, Blackstar was. Blackster was named John Vance. Blackster mm-hmm. wasn't uh, his actual name. The name comes from the necklace that he was given by the Trobits. 
Ah, okay. The uh, necklace uh-huh. is what gives him uh, the super strength. Uh-huh. And uh, that's why uh, when you look at uh, its design, there's like a black star on it. Ah, so, uh, you get it? The neck- get yeah. it? That's so cool. The necklace was made by the ancient ones. The music sounds, is very... Sounds familiar? It's yeah, the ancient like ones. In, the... Like in uh, He-Man. The ancient, I, I, there, there's some, and Deucin will probably be able to correct me if I'm, if I'm wrong, but I believe that there are some artworks that have, on, on some of the figure boxes, or something that have um, black star elements painted in them, or one of the one of the castles had has like sculpts of uh, the sword in there, or something like that. Speaking of the sword, originally there were no swords in the story. At really? first, they were going to battle over stones. Mm. One was uh, the moonstone, which was. Uh, let me just check because I got an I have an ex, excerpt from the series Bible. Hmm. Just to find the page. Uh... I mean, I think swords is definitely the ah. way to go over stones, but yeah. So Blackstar possessed the Star Stone, and uh, Overlord uh, possessed the Moon Stone. Oh. Combining oh, them. Cool gives uh would grant uh overlord immortality and universal power hmm. cool well what what would your preference be do you like the sword have what they went with the swords or would you have preferred the the stones swords i mean who who battles with stones yeah that's true. <laughs> yeah that would have been a good like plot point thing but they would have to fight with the swords yeah yeah, yeah. Like also, imagine that's, tossing that's your stone like a, over and he catches yeah. it and now he has both of them. Yeah. Yeah. And it's great how alien the swords are. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like uh, even despite all the limitations, they were like really trying to do alien worlds mm-hmm. as much as as much as possibly alien. Like they, they were using all the benefits of animation medium. Because much of this stuff you couldn't do on a television live action budget. Yeah. Also, uh, so during the fight you saw clone morph into a lion. Yeah. A lava yeah. lion. That's a model that comes from uh, Tarzan series. Okay. Yeah. It's I a didn't... rework to, to have uh, flaming elements. Originally. Mm-hmm. And I have this design. Originally, it was supposed to look like a mountain lion, not like mm. a, like an African lion. Ah. Yeah. I, th- I think it's cool to see, like Ren and talked about. We're seeing, we'll see some assets here that would be used in Master Universe, but we're also seeing things that were reused from stuff that that came before it that Filmation had worked on. Because as Dusan said, they were pretty swamped with work during this time. So as you're watching this, you can see why there are probably some limitations how do you know exactly like at the time of this production and then going into mass universe just how many people ballpark were with the company working on these shows uh i i think there were about 300 i think because there was a major news the following year how they had to lay off a lot of people Mm. like did they were in quite a trouble because they were they were unable to sh- to sell any more shows yeah for the following mm-hmm. year so when master universe comes along and becomes like this this super mega hit uh, what, is there anything of these people being high like do the numbers increase after that with the workforce or do, after those layoffs does it remain at that spot and then just dwindle down as the company Things got so much better that uh, some of them still live by uh, the money they made during He-Man. Oh, hell yeah. Like uh, animator Tom Sito, who named his house uh, Casa de He-Man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, That's awesome. here, here in this episode, hey, we got the uh, the butthole tree. <laughs> I, I wasn't going like, to yeah. say anything, but yeah. <laughs> I do, uh, I do like uh, clone quite a bit. I like that that you yeah, have a character yeah. that can just shapeshift into into uh, various things and creatures. 
Yeah, yeah. Clone's pretty cool. His uh, his character, he has um, he has pieces that you can place onto yeah. him. I noticed right. that in the, the action yeah. figure, the produced by Galoob, uh, the, yeah. the action figures were. Yeah, I was kind of looking into some of those because I do have a uh, Overlord because that that's a figure I uh, relatively cheap cheap end when you're wanting to collect just I, because I, I everybody bought that figure. I'm yeah. assuming. So. Um, yeah, him yeah. and uh, Black Star are are pretty easy to get mm -hmm. and and fairly cheap. Everybody else, uh, even, not so much. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Clone is pretty expensive, and uh, um, damn, I, I had her name earlier. The 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 female, I can't remember her name now. Uh, uh, she's super hard, especially with her crown. Yeah, it's extremely expensive. Well, that's because kids would buy those and then just like lose the accessories. Constantly. Yeah, yeah. But and their their gimmick was uh. Uh, see through, like glow in the dark pieces. Yeah. Oh, cool. So basically, what we have here is we we have this evil tree that is essentially kind of making these clones of of everybody to. Yeah, which is so blatantly inspired by the invasion of the body snatchers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How dare you do that? Well, no, I mean it's a good thing. It's not a rip off. It's Look, inspiration. <laughs> They all look like Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Same so size too. Their skin's, like, their I skin's don't not porcelain. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, those things. Well, so, a couple of those are really expensive to get in the figures. Yeah. So when it when it comes to the There's little meanies in this one, <laughs> the other yeah. the other twelve episodes uh, are are the Trovets heavily involved in most of them or like oh uh, yeah yeah okay. yeah, uh, yeah yeah. Like yeah, unfortunately, they're, they're... unfortunately, the the concept isn't uh, quite well polished as He-Man. Like right. uh, with He-Man, you can tell that uh, they were learning from making this. Yeah, because like here, you don't really quite get uh, why exactly Overlord does what 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 he does and why. Like what 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 exactly is at stake here? Like, yeah. what's the why is why is Sager Tree important? Why are the Trobits uh, being targeted by uh, Overlord? Yeah, but unfortunately, those elements didn't really get fleshed out, but still, it's like it's enough to provide you with some entertainment. Definitely, the the one Trobit there with the the ears with that, that, that like I look at that, I'm like, oh yeah, Cal, Shira, like that mm -hmm. had to, that, yeah. yeah, 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 very much, yeah. And uh, the model of Balkar was uh, originally supposed to be reused in the uh, in the human episode, the Remedy. Yeah. So it wasn't just uh, Black Star Steed that was going to be reused. I think what's uh, interesting about this episode too, and watching it, is like uh, you know, Overlord is there at the beginning, and then that that's pretty much it. Like the whole tree, the the tree just takes the center stage of this episode. So yeah. Um, you're the one that uh, this was the episode that you had picked when we decided we we're going to talk about Black Star. Uh, why? Why was this one sort of the standout for you immediately? It's like let's go ahead and and check this one out for the show. Cause it's the first one I got to see. Okay. Aww. Yeah, like uh, the the show didn't uh, officially air over here, but it was uh, present uh, through. Uh, pirated uh, broadcasts uh, <laughs> of uh, satellite television. Okay. Like I forgot if it was uh, Sky Channel or Super Channel. One of those two aired uh, the cartoon in the late eighties, late early nineties. Okay. So that well, at the time I was way too young to remember it. So I I'm not sure if I saw it back then. But years later, in like two thousand and eight, around that time, I bumped into this one website that had uh, like a single episode from a VHS. Okay. So it was one of those old rips uh, that were like 60 megabytes in size. So I watched that because previously I heard of the show on human.org and uh, you know it's interesting. I, I, I it's funny that you mentioned that because I I have 
I don't think I have any real recollection of this ever being shown around in this area uh, for me growing up, even in, in syndication, because we would have the channels that would show a lot of the older shows, a lot of your 70s cartoons, and this probably could have been lumped in there, but that was something that I had never uh, had seen. So I, I do think Black Star is one of those shows that is definitely under the radar for most people it's a show you bring up and maybe they would recognize the, the figures but when it comes to cartoon i don't think a lot of people have have watched it when tyler and i went a couple weeks ago uh and and picked up some comics we actually went to an antique store and he picked up a a black star vhs tape uh I, that's why i kind of wish he was here for this one just because i don't know what episodes were included on the the tape that he bought but um yeah it's it's cool that that Rin, definitely remembers watching this when it was relatively new or just like showing on TV more often. Cause I don't remember this at all. I remember the, the figures in the stores. Um, but, uh, when I was younger, I never got them. Yeah. Um, you know, it was, it was always, it was always a competition. You know, you, you had a limited amount of money that your parents are going to give you. And it was like, okay, well, do I want to get this newer He-Man figure or do I want to get this guy? I mean, he's cool, but he's not as big as He-Man, so I, I don't want it. You know, so. <laughs> yeah. Because you know, the, the figures are, are, they're smaller. They Yeah, they are. You know. And it's interesting, too, because you, I, you would think, what if Mattel put these out? Would, would it kind of be similar to Master Universe? But Galoob, Galoob's always... When I think, when I look back on some of the stuff that I got from Galoob, most of mine was like the WCW line in the early '90s, and those were different compared to the the WWF LJN, the the big rubber ones. But then yeah. also when Hasbro took over and you had more of the action features, the the WCW Galoob figures, they didn't even have articulation. Period. They were pretty much just like little mini statues. Yeah. You would have loved that, Ren. They had none. <laughs> Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> but it, it, it made it jerk. difficult to play with them because you, you would have the ring, but then they're all just stuck in certain poses like this or like this. And you couldn't, you could only, if you're trying to do a, have a match, you can't really do, it was, it was weird to play with those. So uh, yeah. you got to have a little bit of. I remember those commercials. They would just fling them off the ropes and they'd be yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, the the scene here uh, when you got like that panning running shot, I see that I'm like, oh yeah, all right, Matt, Master Universe would go ahead. Exactly. And yeah, that that run cycle was uh, used uh, like uh, for a far for only far away shots. Yeah. Like uh, uh, this this close, you could only see it in Tarzan previously, and I think it was also reused in Flash Gordon. Hmm. Which is also another uh, show. We need to probably watch uh, some Flash Gordon together. That's better point. yet, yeah. the animated movie. Yeah. <laughs> and when you saw it, you, you see a couple times too where they do the, uh, when it, we're transitioning to other scenes, you see the, the sword pop in and do the. Yeah. Like, yeah. Again. Just like on him and the spinning sword to yeah. transition. Yep. Yeah. It's like you, you can see that a lot of elements. Uh, made it to, into human and like again like uh the whole story about uh from the series bible excerpt about uh, trobits giving uh blackster the necklace it's very similar to what you see in the mini comics when the green goddess gives uh, him and the power harness like it's oh, really? same thing like uh this the, both of these objects give the hero supernatural strength yeah and, and it makes me wonder if uh Don Glut, the writer of those mini comics, if he had uh, the uh, series Bible for Blackstar when he was working on those, I, it, because it, previously it, he did work for for filmation, like he didn't work uh, directly on Blackstar, or maybe he did. Maybe he was the one who wrote the series Bible, but none of the episodes were written by him. But uh, it's just uh, way too similar to be just coincidental. Because that would be yeah. a pretty ac astronomic uh, coincidence. Also, that uh, blue energy field that you see behind uh, the the sword transition, that was reused in Human. 
<laughs> I, I mean, hey, it, it's it's a good way to be uh, cost effective. In the, yeah. In, because as you yeah. said, like the shit's not cheap. And it's really, yeah. it's like a it's a very difficult uh, effect to replicate because like it involves like uh, two patterns that when you place one over the other and you move like uh, you move one layer into to the left, uh, the other to the right, and you get those uh, patterns uh, changing. And it's, like, it's so difficult to figure out just how exactly those patterns look like that would uh, create such motion. Like uh, whoever came up with that is a genius. Yeah. Like with a computer, you could try to make a, like a 3D animation that's uh, similar to that, but it won't be exact same. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Rebecca, what, what's kind of your impressions as, as you're watching this, uh, having the little bit of experience with Black Star, much like myself, when when you're you're kind of watching that, what what's sort of sticking out the most to you uh, in this episode as it's going on? Well, it's, it's fucking. It makes me like, oh, why haven't I watched this sooner? But um, like you, I'm just like I'm very much reminded of uh, He-Man and Shira in a lot of things. But I'm yeah. also like, well, this came out before it, so that's yeah. you know. I, I think uh, Man and Cheer should be reminding me of Black Star. Well, but, uh, I, I, I I love it. I love all the fantasy creatures and all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. It's just I love all that kind of stuff. So yeah, this is I that think one. you really right like my the, alley. the design for Mira. I uh, love yeah. I, I've seen her before. Oh really yeah, okay, design. yeah, yeah. Yeah, one good thing about the creature design is that. Uh, what they would do is like they would take one earth animal and another earth animal and they would combine them. I and love that. There you have an alien creature. Yep. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So right here you have so cool. a rhino bear. Yeah. <laughs> it works though. Yeah. I wish they were doing that more uh, on the Masters of the Universe as well. Because uh, there you see there's uh, like a bad habit of seeing uh, animals that look just like the ones on Earth. Hmm. Like you don't see as often alien looking at beasts uh, like you do on Blackstar. Right. Oh, but what, what are they going to do here when <gasps> another Blackstar appeared, the clone of Blackstar? <laughs> He's got looking pro like makeup a, on, so... Look, looking so like a Leo India faker. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, he looks like, like uh, his mascara is all jacked up. Yeah. I was about also, to say, I'm like, he looks like he's cosplaying the crow. <laughs> also, early on, they were, as they were developing the show, they were going through numerous races for Black Star. I just, supposedly, like, this isn't, uh, like, we, we don't have uh, a design that confirms this, but uh, at first, they, he was supposed to be black. Oh, hmm. like, uh, but uh, that design has yet yet not showed up. Then they were considering making him white, which is what uh, the toy is based on for some reason. I then do like they, the shot here where they just yeah. they, they dissolve the sand just dissolves. That's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right, sorry. Do then they went. Uh, they then then they tried out uh, making him Native American. And finally, they settled for Latino American. Okay. Well, it's good that uh, they kind of circled back around on the Native American idea to use for Brave Star. Yeah. 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 All thanks to Tech Sex being designed for the Ghostbusters show. <laughs> and, and they just went, nah, he's too good for this shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because that, that Ghostbusters show, not not very good. The filmmaking yeah. Ghostbusters. Like, like oh, literally no. everyone who worked on it wanted to do more him. Because <laughs> <laughs> like, that show was literally born out of spite toward the Columbia Pictures because they were having lawsuit really? due to them. Yeah, because yeah. they used uh, the name Ghostbusters without uh, acquiring the rights for it because Filmation held those rights. Yeah, due to yeah. making that live action show in the seventies. Yeah, and then that's how it turns out. Well, we're gonna do an animated version of Ghostbusters, but we're gonna call it the real Ghostbusters because th this is 
this is this is it. It's not that other shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they even had a they even had a war in the in the marketing department. Like they, they would make jabs at each other. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like filmation would fight back with the real eighty percent coverage. <laughs> <laughs> like they would even use the same font mm. as the as the movie logo. I gotta say too, I I really like uh, Warlock a lot. Uh, the the steed that yeah. Black Star has. The, you mean yeah. the Kraken? Yeah. Yeah, and and then and he also went through numerous changes. Like at first he was looking more like a horse, like a winged horse, uh, but uh, ultimately he looked, he ended up looking more like a dragon. And then of course here at the end we have to end it on a, a little a little ha ha a little, a little funny. It's yeah, like, oh. yeah, that that was a bit of a formula with uh, Black Star. Like even even if it's not entirely organic, they would still do it anyway. <laughs> so like, if you end up groaning at some of the endings, you're justified. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I I was I was all right with it when I saw it here at the end. I was like, yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, like it's nothing that's done cynically. Yeah, it's all pure-hearted, with all good intentions. Oh, damn, that that twenty two minutes went by really fast. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Dusan, you said you have some stuff uh, of this to show off. Yeah, so. or, or well, you don't want to watch the credits. Uh, I mean, did, did did you put some? Is there something in there? Did I miss something? No, oh, it's no, no, but like uh, you get to see all these cool shots. Yeah, and the music's very um Max Max, Max Fletcher uh, Superman. Yeah, this was done by the. Uh, Oh, I get it. What was uh, the composer's there, name? I, I put it back up so I can watch the credits here. <laughs> and while we're all done with them. Oh, there's Deucin with his, awesome. guy, 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 his keyboard. His keyboard always makes me laugh. <laughs> Ray Ellis. Ray Ellis was the composer. He is the same guy that composed music for the uh, 60s Spider-Man cartoon. Uh, I can hear it, yeah. It's always uh, weird yeah, seeing you can especially, uh, older You can especially filmation. hear it. You can especially hear it uh, on their Fantastic Voyage animated series, because that was almost basically right after Spider-Man. So there's lots of similarities there, and the guy worked uh, through entire de following decade, like through 70s for filmation, made hours and hours of music, and and uh, Blackstar I think was his last show for filmation. Because like he was, uh, he was also going to do uh, him, and but uh, he just felt like he burnt out. Like uh, uh, that's it. He he gave all that he could. Well, I'll ask this then. Uh, with the music that he he did make for all those shows, uh, do do they all sound similar to what we heard here in in Black Star? Is it, it very much like that? Because I feel like that wouldn't work as well in Masters of the Universe. More or less. Okay. Like uh, the the late '60s stuff sounded different, sounded yeah. more closer to Spider-Man. But uh, what you hear on Black Star is pretty much what you heard uh, in the 1970s. Yeah, and uh, like uh, in Black Star, what you hear is uh, there are several cues that are recycled from Flash Gordon series, and uh, from Flash Gordon they also reused some stuff for, for him and later on, like all those. Uh, you know, whenever there's a shock moment and you hear those violins, yeah, that's uh, that comes from Flash Gordon. Ah, that and the D variant, because there are two versions of those. You know so much about all this. Yeah. Gotcha. Now this <laughs> special presentation, just to find it. Uh, where, where is it? Well, while you look for that, yeah. out, out of 10, yes. but before we move on, out of 10, what, what would uh, each of you give Tree of Evil? Ren, we'll start with you. 14. Okay, so it, it breaks the scale for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super Black cool. sounds amazing. <laughs> yeah. Rebecca, Rebecca, what about you? Uh, I give it a 9. That's fucking awesome. Okay. Didn't do so? 10. 10. 10, but based on the, the show standards. Yeah. Okay. Uh, like, I'll, I'll... Uh, oh, no, go ahead. 
So so here you see the the pre-final oh, well, logo. Oh well, fuck my ranking. I thought you were going to something else. Yes, now. Why you so it a <laughs> <laughs> I um, brain farted. Uh, I'll probably be a little bit lower. I'll go ahead and give it an eight. Um, but also too, like I don't really have a barometer for this show, so I need yeah. to watch the other episodes, and then maybe that score will change compared to. I, I'll, I'll ask uh, Deucen and Ren this: the, the, this episode is, is w given what you've rated it, is this sort of top tier of the thirteen episodes, or are they are they're all just just as good as this? They're pretty much uh, consistent in terms of qualities. Like uh, you, th there aren't any like that uh, that feel like uh, there's a massive drop in quality, okay. story-wise. I, I guess you wouldn't really. Uh, you, they didn't, weren't really given much of the opportunity for that to happen. Being yeah, there wasn't time 13. for them to do yeah. that really. Right. Only thirteen episodes. So I, I guess that's sort of when the low number episode count works in best favor. Of, well, pretty much anything really, unless it's just terrible from the get go. Like if it's good. And it didn't get a, a long lifespan. That's usually why most of these shows are, are held in a high regard, even though this one, I think, flies a little under the radar. But All right, Deucen, what do you got? Let me go ahead and take this off of here. There we so, go. So here we have the, the evil Black Star, the big bad Black Star. Okay. Is everything that you're showing uh, right now from just specifically from the episode? Yeah, yeah, evil? from okay. from from the model pack for this episode. Okay. It's like uh, even though this is pretty much uh, the the reuse of the m standard model, like these all these uh, tiny changes, the eyes, the hair, are mm -hmm. pretty effective in showcasing that uh, this is the evil version. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There, he just looks like he hasn't slept in a while. Yeah, well, like uh, you, evil people are miserable. Same to like uh, Trobits. Same when you see the sinister Trobits. Like yeah. the simple facial expression is enough to make them look evil. Yeah, and the yeah. and the the fangs too that were. I just look at that uh, top middle look. Yeah, like that that yeah. smile like. Uh, it's, <laughs> you you can bet uh, it's the same exact smile that lurks behind Joe's mask. <laughs> <laughs> so here we have more of awesome. evil Trobits. Yeah, Riff, his uh, personality actually is very, very similar to Joe's. <laughs> yeah, also he's, uh, he's voiced by Frank Welker. Oh, okay. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, he's a, and he's a grumpy is, old bastard. Yeah, <laughs> this is the this is the last uh, show on which Frank would work until years later. Like uh, I think uh, the next time Frank popped up at filmation was uh, for Pinocchio animated movie. And why why yeah. is that? Just because he was busy with so many other things? Very likely. Okay. I didn't know Very if likely. that I didn't know if that was just um, it was like bad blood or something, or he's just like, no, I no, can't. No, I, I, I mean, like, company. He, he, he even popped up later again for the for the very last production filmation made, the Snow White uh, animated movie. Ah, okay. I There's saw that one more. Yeah, like that. Uh, by the way, that, that animated movie was uh, originally titled uh, "Snow White in the Land of Doom." Oh, <laughs> what was it called again? It was Snow White um, Ever After. Happily oh. Ever After. Happily uh -huh. Ever After. Ah, I, I like the other title way better. Then Aww. there's the the fairy that uh, was encountered. She's adorable. No. The the turnaround is not to scale. I just uh, placed uh, the two model sheets together. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. The the head turnaround for the character. It's a great pixie design. Yeah, yeah. It's it reminds you of uh, of stuff like Elf Quest. Yes. The way oh, yeah. she's chubby. Yeah. I used to love ElfQuest, the books, when I was younger. Yeah. And here we have the Polar Gargoyle. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah. Are you are, are we sure that that's not what Joe looks like under the mask? 
Well, you guys have seen him, not me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah. He, he might be pulling one of those pranks where he's got a mask under the mask. So yeah. He might not yeah, have that's seen true. Yeah, face. that's true. Yeah, that's true. And see, uh, here we see the, the, the nice example of them combining two different animals together. So here we have Eagle Hound. Mm. That's so cool. Yeah, like uh, everyone who criticizes filmation can honestly piss off because like uh, they, they had some very talented people working. Exactly. Yeah. I 100% agree with you on that. They can piss the yeah, fuck off. Really cool. because they made some like, fantastic the, designs. Yeah, yeah. This and is animation the kind of, that can put like, you know, a lot of stuff nowadays to shame. Certainly better than the vector puppetry that we keep seeing today. <laughs> and it's like uh, this kind of creative creature design. Like I dare you to find anything remotely like this in Netflix Shira, for example, <laughs> or even the Revelation. Just find anything that's remotely like this. And here we have Manta Bat. That's cool. Mm. That it's is awesome looking. It's a combination of manta ray and a bat. <laughs> Which is beautiful. That's awesome. What a brilliant design. That's a crazy body on that thing, man. Yeah, yeah. just like Jaws. <laughs> <laughs> it's giving me Mothman vibes. Also, yeah, it's, so, it's like pretty big. Yeah. He's all like, my fingers fell off the walls. Oh, <laughs> uh, Mothman. My tablet. You, you oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Here's the cool. rhino bear. Yeah. Rhino bear. And you yeah. said that th this was something that happened like uh, constantly throughout the, the Black Star run. Is all the creature, yeah. any creature that you see yeah. is just always yeah. one of the, the combinations. Yeah. It works, though. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I think I think they've got rock creatures that they reuse for the He-Man series in there as well. Uh, yeah, there's mistaken. that. Uh, there's one that was used in the the episode The Search. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like that shot right there. That's that's great. <laughs> and here's the the original oh, the lava one. lion. Ah, okay. the original one. Yeah. Nice. Uh, they're probably going to do some glow effects on this, as uh, mm -hmm. as all those lines indicate. So you said it was just budget reasons why they changed it to an African lion, because they already had it animated from. Well, not really. Cousin? Like uh, they probably just wanted to have it uh, more clearly ide identifiable as a lion. Yeah. Not just a cat. Yeah. I get yeah. That. yeah. Like plus. Uh, and so that nobody uh, assumes that uh, he transformed into a female lion. Ah, gotcha. Because mm -hmm. the, there's no mane. Mm -hmm. Now, if, if you had the decision, Dusan, would you have preferred this over what, what we got in the, the final version? Ah, I mean, like, the, the, the final one was uh, cooler looking because of the fiery mane. Mm. Like, it looked quite hellish. Uh, like, so, and and that line design, uh, I if I have hmm. men, I forgot if I mentioned that it comes from Tarzan series. Oh yeah, yeah. Like it was used for regular lions and for the golden lion on the show. Also, it showed up in Human, the episode, uh, the episode uh, Closer of X. Oh. And oh, I yeah. opened the animation when. Uh, he uh, when it's uh, when the statue is uh, brought to life, thanks to James. Hey. Simple simple trick says, uh, "How about a uh, pyro puma? How about that <laughs> sloth ape?" Yeah, just spirit animal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is cool. So basically, what we're saying here is that uh, Joe is just uh, an, amalgamation an amalgamation of, of, of all of all animal. of these. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's and that is annoying so does cool. this thing. Which now it just that's seems great. like there's uh there's all these different uh bees and wasps that look just as evil as this thing. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, mm -hmm. as you can see here there's a note to the left that it's a reuse of the previous model. Yeah. And ah. that's all there is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh man, yeah. they're Show and Tyler hanging out together. They couldn't be <laughs> wrestling. Yeah, they're watching WrestleMania Night Two together. It's disturbing. <laughs> it is. Awesome. Looks like he's they're melting. They're real. Yeah, yeah. No, this is legit. This is a live feed, live from uh, <laughs> Tyler's. Is, is he is he turning into the turd monster from the end of Weird yeah, Science? Yeah, looks like, no, he's like it's a blanket, by, by a <laughs> cocoon or something. <laughs> it's a blanket. Uh, <laughs> you'll have to uh, uh, send me that image so we can we can use it next week. What, what yeah, we do I will do. Oh man. I'm assuming that I'm, I'm assuming that 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 caps off your your presentation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, no, that was great. Uh, let's see. Uh, Simple Tricks had a question about this. Uh, do someone's Black Star inspired more by John Carter? I think it was stated by Lou Scheimer that it was. I think I'm I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, it's probably because like it's the character's so. name starts with John. Yeah, and uh, his adventures take place on another planet. Mm -hmm. I, I need to kind of look more into. Oh, the only thing I really know about John Carter is when Disney put that shitty movie out and it bombed. That's really all I. That movie I, was amazing. I never. Watched. I liked it too. Really, it was good. Mm -hmm. It was good. I really I, liked John, um, John Carter of Mars and the Princess of Mars and all that stuff. So uh, I thought the movie was was pretty good. I liked it. Did, did you guys know that? Uh, John Carter nearly uh, was the first uh, action adventure cartoon made. I didn't before, know that, but I'm not surprised. No. Before Fleischer Superman. Really? I did not know that. Yeah, no, that would have been a, awesome. That would have been awesome. There's a short demo. I love uh, Max demo. Fletcher's uh, Superman. There's a short uh, demo animation available on YouTube. Huh. Where uh, they talk about uh, how, how they were trying... Uh, to make it uh, to give it a painted look to the characters to the characters so they look more like a live, live action because they were uh, like they were literally uh, pioneering this uh, genre because prior to this nobody else did uh, realistic looking characters in animation I, i'll check out i'll check out the the disney film from 2012 if if ren and rebecca say that, that <laughs> they they liked it i i because i've never watched it so i'll, I'll give it a mm. shot i my me saying that's just basically the perception of it bombed it didn't do well at all they like blah 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 so yeah, I'll, it, did, it didn't do well but it was a good movie i'll check it out it um, probably rubbed people off uh, it probably rubbed people off uh, the wrong way uh, when they decided to just name it john carter uh, right. Rather than give it the full name, because like people were and excited for this movie. I don't know why they don't want them... to put like Princess of Mars in there. It's like... Yeah, see, they they didn't put her in there, and they didn't put the the super sexy, you know, outfit on. But um, that's a lot of the people who know about the books and all that, and the magazines and all that. That's probably what they were looking for, and they didn't find it. Disney's not going to do that. And so, Rosetta paintings. Uh, paintings, yeah. yeah so. You know, but it was. I think that stuff would have made it better, but like it didn't yeah. ruin the movie for me. That didn't have yeah. that stuff. I mean, even even Johnny Cox telling me, I, I'll check it out. Like I, I'll I'll give it a fair because I I know nothing of John Carter, so I just uh I'll, I'll try to consume a, a, as much of the shit as I can. And I think that'll make it better since you like since you don't know anything. Like there'll be no preconceived yeah. Yeah. things going into it. So yeah, yeah. Uh, it's an action movie, man. It's a good action film. Mm -hmm. Here is a comment from Sean Darren. I used to watch Black Star on CBS Channel Two Detroit Saturday mornings, but I don't remember what time it aired. So, yeah, I, that's if you remember that, like, I shit, I, I can't even remember what time. I just remember <laughs> like Ninja Turtles. All right, yeah, Saturday morning. Could I tell you exactly what time it aired? Probably not. Um, I guess too. Yeah, that's a good memory. Uh, I'll say this, if anyone has any questions uh, in the chat, any more stuff, go ahead and toss them in there. We'll take some questions. Uh, I think I have one more thing. Uh, the nerd with the suit says Erica Scheimer has had a lot of interesting things about what filmation was like in the 80s. I'd argue Lou's background shaped some of the undertone of their take of Mass Universe and Princess of Power. Uh, Deucen, you, you got anything to... to say about that or? i'm mean, like uh, was influential throughout the the history of filmation yeah right. i was saying it like, before like he, he he 
he very deeply cared for what they were making. It's yeah. not like uh, what uh, cynics say that uh, they just did it for money. Like they, they actually gave a shit about what they were doing. Yes, they did, and yeah. it shows a lot in what they do. Um, uh, the there was a say. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, no, no. I, I was trying to find a comment because when we were talking about when we brought up uh, Flash Gordon and Deucen had brought up the the movie, uh, someone uh, I'm trying to see. I probably should have marked it when i saw it. oh yeah yeah the r james said uh same you could tell someone cared in regards to like flash gordon because uh i love the flash gordon movie because it's so damn ridiculous that i love it i figure that anything made with passion is better than something dull and gray so yeah absolutely yeah, yeah but that the, there sounds like the live action movie oh that's what i was wondering i'm like are they talking about the live action movie or the animated movie because well, like both, I love both, by the way. The okay. the animated movie is unfortunately pretty obscure because for some reason the home releases are just scarce. Like there are yeah. there are few VHS tapes here and there, none in United States, none in UK, and there has never been a digital release. Yeah. Except That's the laser disc in Japan. Well, it's it's almost like uh, it's a good thing that we have a resource on this show that can hook us up with it if we really want to check it out. Yeah, uh, yeah, for sure. Unfortunately, <laughs> there's a there's a there's fortunately a really nice looking uh, recording of French broadcast. So uh, because uh, it's in the PAL format, the picture is clearer than what you typically find. Yeah. Nice. Um, well, in regards to uh, with Flash Gordon, whether it was uh, the animated or the live action, uh, the, it all it all goes the same. Anytime there's people care about what they're putting out there, then you yeah, know, you see you see the results most of the time. Yeah, especially because uh, Flash Gordon animated movie was made by fans. Like they were literally everyone who worked on it was a fan of the comic strip. Yeah. And uh, without going on a rant, that's kind of you don't get as much of that today. It's pretty much just looking at it like it's it's a job, which I, I guess I understand that aspect of no, it. The too. problem is they're hiring people that don't care. There's people yeah. that care out there and that want to make it, but they're not hiring those people. Who, ju who just want to that... leave their mark on it. Yeah, they want to leave their mark on it, and it's just a job to them. So, yeah. Yeah, like they know better, they know how to reinvent it. Now they're <laughs> now it's going to be really interesting. Well, and then it flops. Whoops. <laughs> uh, before we get to more questions, I actually want to show this off. I'll probably uh, retroactively put the link down below, but uh, this is James's uh, eBay shop. Bust the tunes. Go there. He's got a lot of stuff up at auction right now. Yeah, the, the better the sales do, the more animation artwork we can collect. To showcase for for, awesome. for occasions like this, and to just to just uh, to to digitally preserve all this stuff. Yeah. Because much of the time, whenever you see some rare items pop up, they end up in private collections, never to be seen again. That's and such when a shame. those, and it's not unusual for those collectors to just die one day, Those's and Princess all Maria. that stuff ends up on trash in trash yeah yeah so like the, the more That's money so these get the more money these get the more rare animation works we can obtain and like recently uh on ebay uh, filmation pilots began showing up on uh, film reels yeah. like uh for example and, and this is just an example of how tough it's to get those. These go for like over five hundred dollars each. Ugh. Like there was an Aquaman oh, pilot. There was like an Aquaman pilot that was never incorporated in the series that was made. There was also a pitch for the Hobbit animated series that they wanted to do, <laughs> or maybe it was oh, a special. Fun. Yeah. Like in 1975, they wanted to do Hobbit, which is before Bakshi and before yeah, I was Rankin thinking, I was like, Bass. wait, isn't that before Bakshi did it in uh, Rankin Bass? Wow, I need to see that. So I'll I'll put the link. Uh, I meant to do that. I'll put the link 
in the description below if you guys want to check that out because there's only six days left on on pretty much all of those i would assume right because he he puts them all up at the same time they all just sort of end in like yeah, 10 yeah. minute increments from each other so yeah um Let's see what we have here. First question uh, from Johnny Cock. This goes to Ren. Ren, do you primarily focus on conventions in the eastern side of the U.S.? I do now. Um, I was primarily Midwest uh, before I moved back here. I was in Ohio. So um, which one in particular are you, are you at? If you can give me some information and I can travel there, I'll go. If you want to uh, pay Ren's way, no, get, no, get him a no, plane no, ticket. No. No. <laughs> if uh, if it's close enough and uh, and I can get a, a table at a decent price, I don't mind traveling. I like going out of town, so I'll be going to Atlanta at the end of the month uh, okay. for um, for a show. I can't remember the name of it right now, but it's it's like a one day show. It's in Atlanta. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's just in Atlanta. Yeah, yeah, I know. It, it, it kind of sucks. It's like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, if we had known earlier, if I, it, I know you got us the message that we were all invited, but um, like a week earlier, even, and uh, yeah, I, I would have awesome. made the trip. Yeah. Yeah. It would have been cool. Yeah. I, I mean, honestly, I, I probably would have seriously considered too if I if yeah. it would a similar situation. I was mean, like, oh yeah, yeah, let's go, <laughs> yeah. let's go. No, I've yeah, actually a couple hours. yeah. I mean, like I've I've drone through Georgia before to get mm -hmm. to Florida when I was a kid to go to like Disney and Universal and everything, but I never actually like hung out there for. Well, wait, no, I take that back. I was in uh, Savannah for like half a day just to like uh, go go check. My it. only recommendation is always take into consideration Georgia traffic. Oh, yeah. Traffic it is, sucks. Yeah, it's terrible there, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's terrible. I noticed that most of the, the roads, like once you get into North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, man, the roads on the interstate are fucking trash. <laughs> but yeah. uh, I think North Carolina's kind of fixed it, but I think South Carolina is now in the same boat because I guess with the temperatures consistently being warmer down there, uh, with how they make their roads, they ha it has to withstand the heat. But God, I, North Carolina, South Carolina, when you're on the interstate, it's just like do 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 because it's got just those those little cracks, little bumps. cuts in there, yeah, yeah, little cuts in it as it ends. Uh, Deucin, you know, he's like, Bye. Um, <laughs> another question from Johnny Cock, and this one's directed to me. If, uh, Nathan, if you've already seen Godzilla, uh, King Kong, uh, or Godzilla Kong New Empire, I want to hear your thoughts on it. I had a lot of fun watching it, but we're definitely in Fast and Furious territory. I have not seen it, I probably will not see it in theaters. I'll wait for it to stream. Um, I, aside, like, the 2014 Godzilla movie was all right up until they killed Brian Cranston's character off. And then it just like, and um, Kong Skull Island was all right. The, let's see, Godzilla King of the Monsters. I think that was the title of it. I didn't enjoy that one at all. And then Godzilla Kong uh, was not good. So expectations of that one are low, but if it's, I guess we're kind of veering more in, in that territory. I, Probably just based off of that uh, Fast and Furious territory, I'll probably in, enjoy it a little more than the, the other ones that preceded it. But I'm kind of not really looking forward to checking it out. Does either anyone here have any interest in, in watching I that I need at all? to catch up on the movies. Um, you you kind of don't, though. I stopped after the one with Millie Bobby Brown, the last one with her in it. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that, was, Mothra. Yeah. that, was, that was King of the Monsters. That, I, I, I didn't like that one at all. Uh, yeah, that's probably why I stopped watching it, too. Yeah. I like the monster stuff in it. That was pretty cool. But they focused yeah. way too much on the humans. And I'm like, I just want to see monsters and, kill and each they, other. Well, the thing is, too, they don't make it interesting or, or weird. Like, when you when you go back to um, like the, the Toho films. like that's Minus a, One was great. I see Casey Oh, yeah. Oh. oh, that was fantastic. <laughs> Minus I'm not even like a huge sense. Godzilla person, but yeah, that was that was a fantastic. Yeah, movie. yeah, that that movie ruled. But if, if you're going back into the the older the Toho stuff, um, I have a lot of fun with those because those are weird. And maybe it's just because it's, 
I think if they tried to replicate that in the States with the rest of I, I still wouldn't enjoy those as much. There's just, I don't know. It's maybe I'm just kind of contradicting myself a little bit, but I, I Ren's sitting there looking. He's like, man, Godzilla's trash. All of <laughs> Godzilla's trash. Uh, let's see what we have here. Uh, Oliver Belmont. Uh, Deucen, how do you compare the articulated quality between the vintage Black Star toys over the vintage Master Universe toys? I, I never mean, had any Black Star toys. I, well, Ren. Yeah, the the play, yeah, there's just something about it. Oh, I guess wait. they're smaller, they're thinner. They're yeah. Just, uh, yeah, they're 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 not as well made. True. Um, yeah, they are the um, the legs the are joints yeah. Are, yeah. are tied together, and they got these weird. Yep. It, it, it's it's just oh, you can tell it was it was poorly poorly uh, tooled and 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 created and and. They just didn't put a lot of money behind the figures, and um, yeah, they're just they're just really not that great. Yeah, well, and that's it's Galoob. Galoob's just yeah. Uh, they, they, yeah. I, when you compare them to the other companies putting out toys during this time, Galoob's. Yeah, bottom. yeah, because some of the figures are really really brittle now. Yeah, like super. My brittle. my poor Jade's leg just broke from Golden Girl, so yeah. Oh no. Oh yeah, Galoo yeah. put was those out her. as well, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was uh, posing her for a picture, and her leg snapped. I was like, "Fuck!" I yeah. gotta repair her now. Luckily, they're rubber, so like you can kind of press it back in a little bit. But like, if I handle her, it's gonna fall off again. The yeah. little plastic piece broke inside of it. Um, and oh, then uh, Dragon Queen's armor is notorious for breaking her little like metal uh, chain metal skirt. I've got three of them, and they're all fucking broken in the same spot. So yeah. Oh wow. I guess, and when you think about it, they didn't, maybe they weren't, they didn't have the foresight of, oh man, like everyone's, everyone, when when this generation of, of kids that are buying this shit now get yeah. older, they're still going to be collecting this shit. <laughs> that, yeah, they, yeah they, I, I don't have the Palace of Gems yet, but um, I hear it is very brittle plastic that you have to be careful with it, or it's that kind of like just snapping plastic, mm. um, which is, you know, with how pricey it is, you're like, you better get here in one piece yeah yeah well it's like you think about master universe uh figures and then like the o-ring gi joes like the, that rubber after all this time just becomes just as brittle too and just mm -hmm. uh, right yeah but luckily they, they people have put out things like o-rings and shit you can replace all of that and restore it and make everything great but when it comes to just just legs just snapping in half like that uh you know, and, and unless you're like Joe or any any of you here, I mean, I guess I could do it too. And you, you got like glues that are really good at, at fixing such a thing, but it is unfortunate. Um, Simple Tricks says Toy Lanta and Joe Lanta, not that Joe Lanta is not a Joe Amato convention, as is, I'm assuming for GI Joe. No. March and October, <laughs> Fans of Power is on the radar for an invite. So hey, hey, maybe we show up at. One of those. Um, Nerd with the suit, uh, also recommending, or wait, no, said Godzilla Kong. I'm assuming talking about the new ones, even more insane than I was expecting, and I loved every second of it. So I'll, I'll wait until it streams, or maybe I guess I could go check a showing out because there's probably not going to be anybody in the theater since <laughs> it's been out for a little bit now. Uh, Joe Amato, Nathan, any chance on letting me get my hundredth win against you in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe? <laughs> not a chance. I told you last night, since you divulged that information to me, I'm just never going to play Mario Kart again. So you're never going to get that hundredth win, Joe. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, let's see. Is there any more questions? They're all just talking about Godzilla and stuff. Uh, if you got anything else, go ahead and toss it in there. We'll, we'll, we might take a couple more and, and wrap it up. It, uh, Rebecca, convention appearances. What, what do you got coming up? Don't you have a few more things? Um, what we have planned um, next weekend, we have a very a local one. Um, it's a very small one-day convention. Um, oh, okay. Melbourne Toy and Comic Con. And then uh, I think after that, it is uh, Monster Rama Con. Monster Rama Con. Yeah, Try saying that August. five times fast. It's just Monster Rama is what they go by, but uh, ah. Monster Rama Con is the full name. 
uh, that one should be a lot of fun. Um, what's what's the uh, costume planned for that? Since this is like a, like <laughs> so more. This one will be funny. If you want to get pictures of me as a sexy cave girl with some dinosaurs, you can come there on Saturday and you can get pictures of me with a bunch of dinosaurs in the, the. <laughs> now is it um, gonna be people? Room. People like when you say it'll be a, a f No, it'll be like dinosaur props because okay. it's from um, a movie called When Dinosaurs Ruled the Earth. So it's not like people. So it's not like people like uh, Ren and Joe. <laughs> I was gonna say, is it is it gonna be <laughs> on costumes? So it's like, are you, oh, set, no. are you setting this up to where like the rest of us on the show are gonna be the dinosaurs? <laughs> yeah. But that'll be cool. I'm also planning um a, a Barbarella for that one. Mm. So uh, oh, that's. Cool. I'm not sure what other what other costumes I'm going to bring, but uh, yeah, I'll probably change out of the cave girl throughout the day because that'll be cold. Um, <laughs> yeah, but this but, uh, is going to be in August, you said? Yeah, so hopefully it'll be cool. I'm going to request the room to be a little warmer because it is a very skimpy costume, but uh, no, it should be cool. August? Yeah, there's going to be a lot of, might, lot of nerds that don't know how to wear it. It might still be kind of warm. It'll be in, yeah. in Florida, you said? It'll be in um, uh, Atlanta again, in the same hotel oh, okay. that uh, Toyland was. Oh. oh, gotcha, gotcha. It might be all right. Yeah, it should be fine. Weather-wise. They, they may have the AC up, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Ren, what about you? You got anything coming up, convention appearances? Yeah, I've got um, I've got a couple, but um, my memory's terrible. It's, 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 uh, <laughs> same, I have, same. I know yeah. there's more. I mean, you don't even remember how old you are, so. Oh, there's yeah, one we were just invited to, and I feel bad. <laughs> Well, I'm yes, sure the there's, there's two coming up pretty soon, but uh, one is in one is in Atlanta and one is in uh, man, it's just a hotbed for you guys. Like, yeah, yeah. Going to Atlanta. I think Atlanta's kind of kind of pumping big, up their convention scene. Yeah, they've got Dragon Con, which is one of the biggest cons in the world. So yeah. everybody's kind of yeah. uh, all the people from Dragon that. Con will go to these cons, so they always do really well. So yeah, it makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Yeah, I'm hoping to one day uh, grow up and get to go to Dragon Con. It's uh, fun. I hear, I hear it's, it's, it's one party. of the top five conventions in the world. So, I'll just, get there one day. It just seems like it's not like it's not like it doesn't feel like a convention. It just feels like a big party in costume. Yeah, yeah that's what I hear. <laughs> yeah, it gets pretty wild. Hear. Just seems like it's gonna. It would be like too many people these days. Like the, it's the, easy to if you get um, what is it like sensory overload? It can be a lot. It's like I don't. It's but, but it's probably it, better than than uh, Comic Con. Yeah. Oh yeah. Without a doubt. Yeah. Like yeah, sure. San Diego Comic Con. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the funny thing is, our local one. Um, MegaCon is has more people than Dragon Con and it's one hotel versus six hotels like Dragon Con. So it's like <laughs> but MegaCon, the one we have up here in Orlando, is uh uh the second biggest convention in the world after San Diego Comic Con. So uh -huh. I stopped going to that one just because it's so crazy. I'm like, I can't move. I'm like, yeah. I can't do anything there. Yeah, and it's like once it's it's too many people. I'm like, it's not, right. going back to it. It's not it's not so much that sensory overload. It's just like it's too many fucking people. Just yeah. too too many yeah. people. And uh, just yeah. Uh, JSP, uh, Joe, you're in the chat. Just letting you know he he is JSP is here. Uh, different note. Since this year marks the forty. 40 years of the Terminator. Let me get your views on which is better, the Terminator or T2. For me, easy. The Terminator. Without a doubt. Both. Yes, I agree with that. Like, Terminator 2, I, I like it a lot. It's a fantastic fucking movie, but if I, you're gun to my head, yeah. which one's better, the Terminator or T2? The Terminator yeah. every time. Same. First one. Same. Yeah. Yeah. It's got this gritty like kind both. of feeling to it that's... Yeah. Um, it's, it doesn't feel as polished as the second one. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's got this kind of um, yeah, it's indie, got more it's sinister kind of sinister atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. It's sinister and like indie indie film kind of atmosphere too. Yeah, it. yeah. And it doesn't have Edward Furlong in it, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, don't be a hater. Uh, he's kind of annoying in it. Not not <laughs> like enough that turned the shit off. Annoying. Listen, but... he saved humanity. Be grateful. Yeah. 
Ren, what are you doing over there? Uh-oh. He's not hey. going to tell. Uh, simple tricks. Favorite human astronaut lost in space property? John Carter, Flash Gordon, Buck Rogers, Star Lord, etc., etc. You're her husband. How do you not know? <laughs> Ren, what are you doing? You can't even, I can't even hear him. I don't know what he did. Uh, oh, there uh-huh. you are. Are you back? Yeah, I am. Okay. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, what'd you, yeah. what happened? Okay, shit. Aw. Oh, no. He's gotten deaf. Oh, no. He's <laughs> <So> the <they> aging. <laughs> He's laughing, so I don't know if he's just laughing because we're laughing or what. Nice dementia. Can you hear us now, Ren? Hello, Ren. Earth the Ren. <laughs> uh, I, as far as my... It's hard what, to choose. I like all those people. Did you say Star-Lord initially, though, Rebecca? Or no? I thought... Or no, were you just repeating Star-Lord? Star-Lord? Oh. I, yeah, I, 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 I think I was I, asking, like... Like oh, wait, oh, it's aimed uh, at all of us. What? At first, uh, at first, I thought it was aimed at Rebecca only. Oh, oh. no, no, no. It's, for, it's for all of us. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, like, on. how do you not know? Come on, he, he's just contributing to the Q and A portion of the show. Seriously, come on. D- do you have an answer for this one, sir? Do you have a favorite? Uh, Flash Gordon. Yeah. Yes. I guess I would have to go with Flash Gordon because Flash Gordon's really the only one out of these. Well, I mean, I, I Star Lord. I you know. John Carter's also awesome. Book I mean, Rogers is also cool. They're all fucking cool. It's hard to pick. Are you there, Ren? I am. At least the ones I'm familiar with. Uh, you can, what happened? Your earbuds die? Uh, my phone rang, so it it took my <laughs> headphones. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So then I, I like I don't know how to get it back over once it once it takes the headphones away. Yeah. So I had to go uh, out and I, come back I, in. Uh let's see. Oh well yeah, going back to that, do you do you uh Ren, do you have a favorite human astronaut lost in space property out of out of these listed here or one that's not listed? Is is Star Lord the uh the Marvel one? Yeah, that's Guardians of the Galaxy. John Crichton is is really cool. I, I love that. As a matter of fact, uh, hey, I was watching that Farscape. on. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I love uh, the first game was on on last night. There's a, there's actually a channel, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I've that been plays it all. It too. So uh, it's yeah, probably like the fifth uh, time we watched that series. I fucking love that. Yeah, series. I, I Nathan, love I really enjoy watching that series. That series. I, I I need to one. I, I'll add it to the what? list. <laughs> I, I yeah. really and, enjoy it. Yeah. The makeup is amazing. The the characters are pretty yeah. dope. Yeah, John Crichton is a really great leading guy. Yeah, is it? Uh, let's see, Farscape. Is Farscape. Farscape yeah. Is I like Far- that they make him start to go crazy, like any normal person would in that situation. He's like, I'm just fucking yeah, losing it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and the bad guy that's not there. <laughs> put some shit in his head, and like yeah. it, it. After a while, it it goes nuts, man. Uh, the ship is dope. Like the whole the whole show is pretty cool. Okay, yeah, so it's it's, really it, cool. it's streaming on Tubi, Pluto T- TV, Roku Channel, Prime Video, Crackle. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'll, it I'll, used to be on I'll USA. Have... Okay, yeah, yeah. I, it's I come on I, every day on USA. I, I yeah, I remember like when it was on and stuff, but it was just something I just never watched. But I'll I'll check it out. I'll add that and uh, John Carter. Maybe yeah. uh, I can watch uh, the. I'll watch John Carter the movie, and then I'll watch a few episodes of Farscape, and I'll report back you next say week. You like uh, Guardians of the Galaxy? That's where a lot of Guardians of the Galaxy got a lot of their humor and kind of their. Um, uh, yeah, it's very similar to. Okay. Um, to yeah. that. All right. I'll I'll check it out. Um, also, Nathan, there are uh, John Carter comics. Yeah, which I, I mean, Joe probably I owns some in that pile of his. Yeah, that are missing. He probably the got them when they were fresh on the shelves. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, here's a question. He's got that... the original like stories, like when they were first released. <laughs> Joe was there when 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 they wrote I the Bible. When it was written. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Here's another question from JSP, who's still here in the chat. Question, uh, worst convention experience you guys ever had? 
the worst. Oh, fuck. Well, uh, Rebecca, John put in here the Ishkan, Raleigh, North Carolina, then Monster Rama. Is that Thank the one you. with it, the ball oh, pit? <laughs> Is that the one with the ball pit? <laughs> Um, god damn it. When some furry grabbed my ass. Oh, damn. Great. They think they're safe in those furry costumes. Because they're yeah. dirty, you can't touch them. Ugh. It's biohazard. And if you punch them, like, it doesn't do anything because they're covered in fur. <laughs> yeah, right. it softens the blow, bastards. Yeah. What about you, Ren? Worst convention um, experience you've had. Worst convention as far as attendance... I can't. Ah, uh, uh, it was it was a show in this in this abandoned mall, and they had this this blow up side area, and um, they had all the artists and the celebrities in there, and uh, it was hot as shit in there. Oh. And uh, so we were all sweating. Our fucking paper was all curling up and stuff. It was humid as fuck in there, dude. That was probably the worst show that i had been been to in all the years that i've been going to show yeah i'm trying i want to say that was in michigan or something that checks out i would say also my last um the last time i attended a not power con sorry power con's always awesome uh mega con fucking sorry just because of the layout that Uh, trying to get your ticket and get in was like Mind you, okay, I'll give them this. It was the first con after COVID. So they were probably yeah. trying to get their shit together. But oh my god, it was a nightmare. Uh, Fucking nightmare. I think mine would probably, because uh, uh, when it comes to convention experience, obviously not as, uh, having attended as many as uh, Ren and Rebecca. Uh, it, it was probably Mad Monster Party when they the, when they had first switched hotels and i can't remember the names of where they were at for the first couple that they did because i went to the first the inaugural one that they did uh tyler and i went to that and then they stayed there for the following year and then the year after that they switched hotels which was cool in the aspect that the hotel was sort of attached to a boardwalk so there was like more shit that you could just leave the hotel and just walk to like restaurant wise and everything but how it, it once again goes to the layout aspect of it. The way that they had the vendors and the guests and the, like it, it was all cramped together and word of mouth had spread about this con and there were more people that were there. So it was oh, just gosh. a shitload of people crammed into a small space and it was... It, more than they were prepared for? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, and God. and the, the people working the event or it were pretty much uh, volunteer based. So you go to ask them a question about anything. No one knew anything. It was, uh, it just, mm. they've gotten it together better since that point. Cause I think I attended one other mad monster party after that. And that, that one was way better than that. So a little bit of growing pains, I guess, as it was, um, I haven't been to one since. So maybe they, they figured that shit out. I would like to go again. Um, Need to start going to more conventions, actually, just to meet the celebrity guests and blow all my money. Um, <laughs> Febmon, uh, I will repost my Q and A uh, because Black Star here, Rebecca. You, uh, any any of these characters kind of sticking out that you guys would want to cosplay as from Black Star? Would be cool. She's got kind of a funny face, but I think I could play that off with makeup. It'd be cool. Uh. I thought you just you should just be a female version of Black Star. There you go. No That's shirt. A... That'll be popular. <laughs> yeah, 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 there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, no. why is everybody taking my picture? <laughs> right. right. Like... <laughs> That's some guy in the back just recording all fucking day. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. And you're like, is that Ren over there? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> 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 oh yeah that guy oh, no. um <laughs> here's a question from sean darren question if mattel made black star figures what figures would you like them to make i, I guess if if uh, who, all of them they who would? Very yeah if they made them decent make yeah. them all yeah. yeah yeah make all of them yeah, yeah there, I, there were literally probably 10 or 11 in the whole like line um, and there, there are were, more characters on the show that they could make. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, I mean, so it would be cool if someone it goes to with a lot of these properties. Like, I think if you wanted to make Bionic six figures in in the, a six inch scale, oh. why, why not do that? I, I think it would be awesome if a company came along. Not probably. I don't know. I, you think about it, it's like all right. Well, Super Seven's done Thundercats and Silverhawk, sure, and people have their issues with them. But if some company came along and just much like how uh, Todd McFarlane did Movie Maniacs and uh, put out a line that's just these cartoons that don't get a lot of love uh, in, in the, the pop culture zeitgeist as like a Master Universe or a Thundercats or Turtles and G.I. Joe get. Let's take our, our Black Stars, our Bionic Sixes and, and produce a toy line. And that on Saturday morning. Yeah, yeah, so, something in that that vein, but uh, but then some people probably have issues with that, like how Tyler's like people say Saturday mornings. I'm like, damn it, was well, it was syndication? <laughs> it was after school on the weekdays. There was no Saturday morning. I mean, like some uh... shows weren't made for Saturday mornings. Some were. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Uh, just do do something. Like they need to put shit or just reproduce. Like how Playmates is done with turtles time and time again. Like if someone got Bionic Six, maybe not do the metal, just go plastic because it'd be cheaper. Yeah. But just yeah, and just do the designs. For just the redo TV those. Show justice. Yeah. yeah, and put those out again, or put them on fucking uh, digital platforms so we can have them in decent quality and not just hoping to get rips from the Sci-Fi Channel. Uh, I think oh, that. Yes. But hey, there's one to think. Uh, if anyone's a fan of Spider Man and the Amazing Friends, oh, yeah, go ahead and the that. music from that show got released in late February this year. So it's available on YouTube, it's available on uh, iTunes, on Spotify, on a lot of platforms. Oh, you said So I'm... just go to your iTunes, search Spider Man and Amazing Friends, and you'll find it. 15 Actually. tracks, so cool. all in top quality. And one of them is actually an unused track. Uh, let's see. I actually do have Spotify, so. Ah, wow, well, ah, what is that? No. Like it play... wasn't me this time. Yeah, it wasn't you. I accidentally hit play on something. Uh, I, Johnny Cox says, "Have you guys done Thunder the Barbarian yet?" No, we haven't, but we're planning to because I think we need to. Everybody enjoys that. I like show that as one. Well. I got that one on DVD. Yeah. So, Get yes. it on Blu-ray because it's on Blu-ray. Too. I I think I have the Blu-rays. I'm sorry, I said DVD, but uh, I, I have the DVDs, it. and I'm not changing because I'm old. <laughs> you should because this show you should never looked better. Like they did a spectacular job at remastering it in HD. Oh, I want it looking bad like it did when I watched it on my uh, <laughs> little so bit TV with the turn knobs. So Doesn't think... that feel good though to watch them like that though? Like yeah. I like watching certain things like that. I'm like I like seeing the little fuzzies in it. Yeah, the so fuzzy, yeah, the, the trackings yeah. off. Yeah. Um, so I think Tyler upgraded. If I'm not mistaken, he he upgraded a Blu-ray and gave me his DVDs. But yes, that that's definitely something we're gonna probably cover sooner rather than later. So yes, keep your eyes peeled for that. Uh, simple tricks, Deucen, Do you consider Black Star in the same universe as He Man? Uh, Queen Marlena and astronaut sent into space, possibly looking for what happened to John Blackstar. That's an interesting. Well, way. you could have it in reverse. It could be that John Blackstar was sent to find uh, Queen Marlena, Marlena Glenn, but uh, for one reason or another, he just ended up in a completely different end of the universe. Yeah. It's a good way to. It's like poetry, you know, so that rhymes. <laughs> ba basically, both yeah. of these prop properties. Can be compatible, and they're far more compatible than some of the crossovers that they're doing. Far more than with Ninja Turtles. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that doesn't make any sense to me. Oh boy. Yeah. Now, now we're we're talking like I need uh, Cyber Six toys, Centurions. Centurions, or, uh, Centurions had had a remake come out not too long ago, actually. Um, some company made. Uh, they couldn't call them Centurion figures, yeah. but they, they actually made a few of the extra ones, uh, the characters from uh, like season three, season four. I think there was a Native American guy. 
that they made. A couple of other different ones. Yeah. Everybody get their shit together. Reproduce all these toys. Put them out there. People people will buy them, even if it's just a little, little niche, the like, it, like niche it's always group, yeah. been. Yeah. Uh, Sean Darren says it was Zodak's fault. They both got lost in space. I don't know where they did. Hey, I mean, he is the balance. Maybe it's yeah, like, th this is the purpose, right? A cosmic but, bitch. But there, there is an audience for like these um, less known things, because look how good like um, the... The feedbacks being for like the fire and ice toys that are coming out for the, yeah. the Frazetta girls. Absolutely. That's not like a big known movie or anything like that, but like people are loving those action figures, the people that know it and get it. And I think it's intriguing people to go back and watch it. So I think there's yeah. there is an audience for the, those things. You know, it's may not be He Man or you know Thundercats even. Mm -hmm. I know Thundercats isn't the, it's big, but it's not nearly as big as He Man. Yep. Um, they say yeah, I think. Somebody should be brave and do things like um, Bionic 6 and all yeah, that. Absolutely. Ren, uh, she mentioned Thundercats. You've been watching more Thundercats since our show last week. Because I have. I've jumped ahead of you. Sorry. Dude, <laughs> I'm waiting on you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm on like episode 21 now. So. Ah, okay. Uh, I'll jump T on it. Time to catch up. Uh, yeah, I was oh, waiting shit. on you. We were supposed to watch party those days. <laughs> wow. <Well. laughs> Maybe not all of them. I'll, I'll find. I don't know. I've been kind of lazy. Like when I when I get off of, of work in the afternoons now, like I, I run errands and shit, and then I get home and I'm just I sit down and I just watch things. You turn it on. Yeah. I take a nap sometimes on the couch <laughs> and I wait for Emily to get home, and then we hang out a little bit, and then I just uh, go to bed again. So uh, yeah, yeah, still kind yeah, of all better. all of the uh, unfortunately, man, all of the episodes are not like super exciting to. So. It doesn't. It, it it won't hold your attention as it's, much as you wanted it to when you were a kid. That that's yeah, uh, such is the nature of the syndicated shows. Like yeah. they can't all be winners. Yeah. Right. It, uh, well, I mean, I can I can even admit right now um, because I have already watched like the first couple episodes a handful of times. So I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna go in order and start watching these, and I just let them play. I think I watched like eight episodes uh, like Wednesday. And it does, it, it reaches a point where it's like, all right, it is a little same scene. We're going through the same da da da. And yeah, you, you absolutely have a point that I, I think small doses works best. Yeah. When watching yeah. that. Um, you got to do, 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 do like it was intended, one a day or something. Yeah. 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 Especially yeah. during Max. the period, uh, especially during the period uh, with the void, the, with the weird uh, voice direction. Yeah. Like uh, there, there are episodes where they talk like, in a very unnatural way. Yeah. 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 You definitely uh you get pieces of that. But yeah, random totally in, in agreement with it. Like it's it's awesome, but at the same time too. Uh some of them definitely aren't as uh exciting as you would want them to be. Right. And yeah, it, they, I I was just kind of like diving in, I'm just letting it play and just kind of zoning out and just relaxing. I'm like, all right, I'll I'll do that. But yeah, I'm probably gonna scale back on that do one or yeah. two a day or one or two yeah. every other day uh some of that effect all right well shit man uh i'll go ahead and wrap that up because that's pretty much it with the, the question so they... well, when i just uh, quickly show the hobbit uh by filmation like we only have pictures but uh it's all there is to it because it, you you it have you, in a you have collection. that no, I sent you the link uh, oh. to the uh, to the archive the eBay auction. What year did you say this was? The the nineteen seventy five. It seemed like everybody wanted to get their hands on Tolkien. Oh. Um, uh, Lord 1975 of the Rings. Seventy five was a damn good year. Yeah. Oh, is that is that when you th think that you were born? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Look at that, two thousand. Hundred and twenty four dollars. <sighs> Please don't end up that in some selfish like collectors. It absolutely did end up because we won't be seeing that at all. <laughs> Come so on, these That's pictures so are all there is to it. The, the all that we'll see from it, likely. Uh, it was uh, like uh, at this point, Filmation was doing uh, these uh, pilot pitches uh, in a slideshow manner, like they weren't uh, doing the full doing the full animation like they did in the 60s. Like uh, you can so zoom in on some pictures uh, <laughs> where you see the Gandalf and uh, Bilbo. 
Zoom in on some pictures. Yeah, yeah. Maybe oh, click the arrow oh, down. Oh, there, yeah. there's more. I didn't see. That I see. More here. Man, I would. Oh. There's I Bilbo. Like, unfortunately, oh, wow. the film has uh, faded over the years. It clearly wasn't stored properly. So yeah. the the footage I've has turned red, but uh, I feel like I've seen these illustrations before. I don't know. That's that's amazing looking though. Yeah, unfortunately, we'll never get to see, get to hear the narration that accompanied these uh, these uh, illustrations. Like uh, it just it was just surprising been... because I haven't seen. Anyone ever mentioned that uh, this thing exists at all? No. Well, I still don't think anything beats Gollum's design in um, the Rankin and Bass Hobbit movie. It was the coolest, yeah. creepiest Gollum ever. Same with uh, the music. Yeah, I, mean, I thought they made him. I thought they made him too cute in the Peter Jackson movies. He was too sympathetic. Yeah. It's like, and I don't mean like in a cynical way the, the music because the music is really really catching and catchy and uh, exciting yeah. in yeah. Anki Bass version. Yeah. yeah also, definitely. the amount of details those animators put into the work. Yeah, yeah. That's the little wispies, hairs and everything. The wrinkles. Yeah, and everything. the wrinkles, like uh, the, the same kind of stuff that you later see in uh, Flight of the Dragons. And then yeah, finally, and the last in, uh, yeah, in there, and uh, also uh, Wind in the Willow, Willows, yeah. uh, they also did that, and then they did uh, Thundercats. And you see that kind of s very similar animation all throughout, those yeah, things. yeah. The line work, I love that information. I always like watching, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah That's my favorite kind of animation from like anything. I can watch those and it's just like. Instant nostalgia for me. Something which you will never see today. Because mm -hmm. uh, it takes too much time. We have to do it with uh, flash animation. It's also like uh, there's an imperfection to it, which is just so charming. Uh, organic like, look. Yeah, organic, yeah. It's very. It doesn't organic. look like it's... a robot drew it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I don't. Digital stuff could not recreate that. It can if it's drawn by hand, but if they do it, with, if they do it with vector puppetry, then you have a problem. Or even mm -hmm. worse, like what you see with uh, X Men '97, where you get uh, CGI 3D models okay. masqueraded as uh, hand drawn animation. You know, that's the thing that's kind of throwing me off about it is the animation's too perfect in some parts. Like a, yeah, because like it, I'm used uh, makes... to the the kind of janky animation where it's janky, but in like a very um, has personality to it. It it uh, gives what you often get to see these days is that the, the characters look too stiff, like they don't really they don't lo really look flexible, especially when yeah. they talk. When they yeah. talk, like you can le really tell then, because like again, like uh, X Men ninety seven. Often you get the uh, the Muppet mouth look. Yes, yeah, because I've been rewatching that in um, Invincible season two, um, and yeah, I, I see what you mean. It's it throws me off a bit from the animation I grew up with, but yeah, yeah, yeah and with Invincible, uh, that doesn't uh, use three D models as much, at least, but it looks so sterile. It's like, very, it's very um, anime, and. The, uh, it's, it's even worse, worse. like uh like okay modern anime doesn't look as good as it used to be but i agree with that i so love a lot just, of old anime it's so soulless like uh, can, can why can't <laughs> the lines have some weight to them because like even in comics even in comic books today you still see proper artwork so why can't that happen with uh, animation as well why does it always have to look sterile mm. I agree with that. Because these new kids don't know any better. <laughs> <laughs> it's not made for us, Deuce. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's what they it's always for, say. It's, it's not made, it's made for, for you, trash. It's made for trash consumers. 
I, you know, I, I have to say, I, I'm loving all the new people that we're getting in the chat. Uh, Evil Kitty in a sweater. I love oh, nice. Black Star. So yeah, I, it's, yeah, I, yeah. Finally, they can stomach uh, stomach the the podcast without Joe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's all. It, that's all it took is like Joe and Tyler just didn't need to be here, and then all these yeah, other yeah. new people come out of the woodwork and they're like, "Oh, hey, I'm yeah. here in the chat room." Yeah, they're, they're, they're always those in, like, oh, not those two guys. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, man. All right. Well, thank you to everyone new, especially maybe you lurked before and you're just now in the chat, but uh, appreciate uh, everybody that was here tonight. There's there's Ren with the special effects. With the that none, special... Of, none of us can replicate it all, no matter how nope. hard we try. Um, I hope everyone enjoyed this. Uh, if you have uh, prior Black Star, you, you were like Ren and you remember how old you are and like him. And you what watched this hell? show when it was new. Give us your thoughts on it. What do you think of the action figures? Uh, fuck, man. Any of the other stuff that we talked about tonight. Leave your opinions down below. And if you haven't done so already, because we have 23 people here right now watching live, hit the like button. Do it now. I, I won't uh, be as mean as Joe is when he's uh, <laughs> cussing everybody. Hey, speaking of which, uh, the movie quote. <sighs> man. Who's got a movie quote? Well, uh, Joe, I, I, I got to play the thing Go put in the... Uh oh, it's Raiden. There we go. Uh, no I'll... movie quote here. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll have it mm. uploaded so I can uh, share the screen. But once again, if you haven't done so already, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you haven't, share, let everyone know, leave comments down below. And until next time, we'll see you in the future to talk about the past. And now I gotta gotta do this and upload. Uh, all right, here we go. Oh, God. Size of monster balls. <laughs> what is that? Bullet holes the size of monster balls. Bullet holes. I only know what it is because I Googled it. Because is so it like a shotgun? What the fuck would make that it, size it, of a it, it is a quote from a film. I, I feel like Is that supposed to be our quote? Yeah, that's supposed oh. to be your quote. And and that part was supposed to be from a film, from the film. Yeah, Joe Joe said the quote there. Bullet size oh, the size. Bullet holes Bullet. the size Joe of matzo said. balls. Mm. No, I don't. Uh, I don't know it. Uh, what was that movie called? Um, what was that movie called? <laughs> what was that? You're rubbing your head, and balloons just. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. How how I how think, does that make balloons show up? Oh, I think I think the peace sign makes balloons. Yeah. Ah. Uh. So stupid. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> You're just angry. He's just yeah, jealous. Yeah. You're mad because you can't do it. <laughs> make balloons. I can't. Balloons. Are I tried this last week, but nothing happened. Remember. <laughs> but if I put them together, maybe uh, maybe I'll get blue. No, you get to do the horns with your hands. Oh yeah, the horns. The horns is what is something. The laser. Is that what um, this way? Yeah, I think maybe my head's in the way. No, I don't know. It's, it's... You know what? I'm glad it's not working. <laughs> ah, you eat eat shit. Try with both hands. I think both hands. So ah, uh... oh there it is. There it is. Ah, oh, look wow. at that laser. Oh yeah. That's what it was. So no, no one, star. no one knows what what. No, that's from. Uh, I don't. Uh, it's from the Goonies. Chunk the, says it. Hell no! Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know that part. That was from the Goonie. Yeah. Okay. It must have been Joe's voice then, and made me forget the yeah, whole. Yeah. Well, I mean, when Joe says anything, you start to forget, right? You're just. Like, you're just <laughs> Oh, man. All right. Well, next week, I think this, this may change because you never know on this on this show. Uh, next week, I think we're going to cover Star. <laughs> we're going to cover issue eight of uh, Star Comic, Mass Universe Star Comic. Um, Tyler, we hope we hope you feel better. It's not like he's going to watch this anyway. And uh, Joe, Joe, don't. Uh, well, I guess Joe's already getting sick. From hanging out with Tyler, or watching. Yeah, right now. <laughs> whose face is that? What do you mean, whose face is that? It's Tyler. Tyler. It doesn't, it doesn't look even like look Tyler. Like Tyler. It? No. it doesn't look like. 
That's because he's sick. Like him. He's got the flu. Of course it's not going to look like him. That shit looks terrible. <laughs> we'll see you next week, everybody.